Today has been an insane day in the Mediterranean. Um, I was woken up uh, at 3.30 this morning by a phone call from uh, the Rescue Coordination Center. Uh, and a few minutes later, uh, already we had uh, several distressed boats uh, on the radar. Um, and uh, we quickly deployed our rescue rib uh, because we had a boat coming directly at us, completely full of panicked people. Um, it was so stressful for everyone that they jumped onto us and we had to pull people out of the water uh, and then when they came to our rescue vessel here uh, everyone was in a state of panic and started climbing and, and uh, fighting and it was a complete uh, complete mess. Uh, our boat is completely full, we have more than 1100 people uh, and it is remarkable that everyone is uh, alive and safe uh, uh, here on this ship today. Uh, it was an incredible, incredibly complicated uh, situation. Uh, several uh, rescue vessels got involved uh, in the end, um, but uh, I have never seen anything like this uh, in my uh, time here on the Central Mediterranean. Never. Uh, we had some scary moments, uh, especially in the middle of the night when we had our first rescue. Uh, but uh, luckily now, uh, everyone is alive. Uh, and the smallest, the youngest person we have on board is uh, maybe not more than a week old. old. You know, when you are witness witnessing panic in front of you, uh, and you have several people falling in the water, fighting for their lives, and you just see a hand coming out of the water and you grab this hand, and you pull and there's a human being coming up. <clears throat> this is something that... Um, it makes a very, very strong impression, and um, I don't think I will ever be able to, uh, to forget this, basically.